Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Call O'Clock! With a subscriber special of a smaller package from the UK and an absolutely massive package from Washington State, USA! Ho oh, ho, very exciting. Looking forward to getting in these surprise packages as ever. Uh, and the big one, incidentally, was the one that I got the notification of last time that was sort of on its way to me. So it's made it safely. That's good to hear. Uh, and if you want to send something to the channel, you can to the usual P.O. Box address. Uh, and the added bonus this week is that it was my birthday. So I'm going to treat both these packages as if they're additional birthday presents. Lovely. So let's get into the smaller one. Uh, first of all, the best things come in small packages, as they say. Not always true, but uh, it is what they say. <laughs> so what have we got in here? Oh, golly, we've got what looks like, oh, golly, an absolute ream of photographs and a, oh, one of those. Yes, that is on my wanted list. I think I must have mentioned that I was still uh, needing one of them. It's kind of the... Uh, a thing that would have a support on either side to go over a railway line in my mind. I'm thinking of connecting my railway bridge lighting to these, you see. I'll have to work out a cunning way of doing it. But anyway, and hiding the wires, of course. But that is very much appreciated. Wow. So no letter. Oh, yes, there is a letter. It fell out. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. Hello, Robin, and hello, YouTube. A uh, long-time watcher, first-time writer. Uh, I've in fact watched all of your videos. Well, that is very good achievement. You should get a Centurion badge or something like that, especially if they're all the uh, halls as well. Um, I found your channel whilst researching about Lego monorails and your city was so impressive that I went back and watched your whole catalogue. Well done. Uh, I wanted to send you something to add to your city and show my appreciation. But what do you send the man with the biggest Bricklink order <laughs> catalogue? Uh, Enclosed is a piece you mentioned was rare on a previous Brick Call that I happen to have in my collection. It's from the Steven Spielberg set. Yes, that's right, the studio's one with a big sort of dinosaur leg and so on, uh, which is close to my heart as it pushed me into my now career of videography. Oh, wow, I could do with your help <laughs> making these videos. Uh, also enclosed are a few snaps of my own city, Bricksham like Brixham, uh, Brixham, yeah, okay, so that's London. Uh, I take a lot of inspiration from Brick Nottingham, like building in a Lego style. Yep, that's definitely something I like to do. Making it packed and stacked, and using sets from all eras, and filling the city with lots of funny little scenes, of course. Well, that is exactly up my street. Thank you very much, Adam, 33 and a half years old. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then you've sent your email as well. Well, that is absolutely lovely, uh, Adam. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look at these photographs. There's quite a few. I'll try and spin through them very quickly because uh, uh, interest of time. But uh, that isn't to say that I won't look at them more thoroughly afterwards. You've got the marina set. I think that's one of the better older city sets that is uh, very underappreciated. I like it with the surf shop and the... And so on. I've got that in mind. We've got to Friends Lighthouse. Don't really remember that one. I can tell it's Friends, though. Well, you've got the old garage from the, um, what was it called? Uh, town Plan Set. I think that's that. Oh, yeah, because there's the cinema as well. Very good. You seem to have that facing that way, which is a bit odd because it seems to be conflicting with that one. But anyway, I suppose it's facing forward for your setup. I think that's the uh, sitcom tower or whatever that uh, Brick Artisan uh, designed. Oh yeah, there's the old town hall from that town plan set as well. The up house, all sorts of different stuff. Well, it's definitely packed and stacked, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, very good indeed. So we'll burn through these. Yep. So we've got some open uh, side buildings here as well. Oh, we've got the old uh, river uh, refuge set or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking of getting a few of those base plates to make a, a, a river in my city, but I don't know, they're all the same, so it'd repeat too often. Yeah, you'd have the same island again and again. I think I've mentioned that before. But yeah, that's a really good advert, that, isn't it? I've got a spare one of those. I need to get it in my city. Oh, and you've got a GBC van. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I was going to give you a bedoying anyway, but that definitely deserves a prompt bedoying. A GBC van, that's absolutely awesome with the logo, of course. So we've got uh, ginormous balls in your city as well. <laughs> a flying uh, pterodactyl there. You've got some lighter fluid on there. I wonder, I wonder if that's an accident you've left it there or if that is supposed to be a significant uh, part of your city. Oh, there's me with a ginormous ball. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love that. That is going on the fridge. That's an absolute keeper, that picture. 
I absolutely love that. <laughs> I do love getting these photos from uh, around the internet. You can always email me uh, JPEGs as well or whatever, and I can show those just as easily. Very good. Oh, now, now it makes more sense. The front of your cinema is sort of a, a little alley uh, with a restaurant and the bank and so on. Very good indeed. Yeah, I like that. And the firehouse, park with hot dog van, ice cream van, snack shack, table, tennis table. I've just got one of those. I need to put it in my city as well. I was thinking of putting it in the police station or something like that. Another little sort of residential street. Yeah, you've got, uh, like most people, you've got less space than I have, <laughs> which is just because I've got a ridiculous amount. And um, yeah, so you had to really cram it in, but that is very well done, I must say. And I love that raft. I wanted to kind of build that raft just because I really like it. It reminds me of an old pinball machine, actually, called uh, White Water, uh, where they had a, a theme about white water, water rafting. So that is uh, something I wanted in mind, but I don't think I've got space. There's me saying I don't have enough space for something that big. But anyway, <laughs> got too many boats already. And there's a pizza place. Somebody being eaten by a shark, even though they've got a can of shark repellent. Can't be working then, can it? Uh, yeah, we've got the up character with a the clown. There's some of the sitcom uh, bits. So that must be what the office, I presume. There's President Business, one of my favourite characters. These are great photos. Oh, we got the TV crew. That's similar to my city. Very nice indeed. I love that little one by one on the uh, microphone, just like I've got it. Uh, and the camera. Got some dogs with hot dogs on their backs. Yeah, I'm not sure I follow that one. <laughs> Real hot dogs, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we've got Emmett not paying attention and running over someone's bike. I like that funny little scene. That's a good one. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a roller. I've got bikes. I might have to pilfer that idea from you, Adam. You'll probably be very happy if I do that. So I won't uh, worry about that. I always like it when people copy my ideas. Uh, I see it as a form of, um, what do they say? Uh, imitation is the best compliment or something like that. I've completely mauled that uh, expression. But anyway, and then I think we're back to the beginning. Yeah. Wow, Adam, they are great. I really enjoyed those. My favourite, though, is this old pic with me in front of the GBC van uh, delivering ginormous balls from the ginormous ball corp all around the world. So that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm going to give you another Bedoying just for that. Brilliant. So, yeah. Uh, very, very nice gift. Um, very, very well wanted. I can take that off my wanted list. That was on my list called important. So, you know, it was definitely something that I, I wanted very much. Uh, talking of things I wanted very much, I'm going to move on now, Adam. Um, there was a couple more things I managed to get this week uh, that weren't in boxes big enough to uh, open on their own. So I'm going to do that before I tuck into that big one where I'm going to need a pause to get my knife hacking away. Uh, and the things I got on my order were this lovely barding piece here, which is kind of weird in a way because it's got a, a lion in rampant on the back and a lion uh, sort of uh, head on the front. I would have thought it should be the same on both ones. But anyway, it was one of the uh, barding pieces that I don't have. Uh, there's a few more left, but uh, <laughs> they're getting increasingly pricey now. It's only the really rare ones I think I need. Uh, but that is a very nice piece. It was only in two sets, including 7947, the Prison Tower Rescue from 2010, which is a very nice set with a nice tower there. Good, interesting colour. And I really like the sort of tipping uh, feature on the top where he's tipping hot coals of burningness onto attackers' heads. That is a very nice little feature on that. I'm going to have to pilfer that for my uh, castle. Uh, try and give it a bit more detailing uh, to defend it against uh, evil hordes. So I'll put that there. Uh, also from that vendor, I got a train roof. wonder what that could be for. Hmm, maybe it's a train build. And more of these. Slopes. He had four. So yeah, it wasn't a big enough order to really make a big uh, scene over, but there we go. We've got four more of those slopes that I'm going to be using for the approach up to the castle and probably a slipway and goodness knows what. So I'm just going to keep buying them every time I see them. So that is loads of stuff that was on my important list. Uh, another thing I got that was on my important list, I got on eBay because I couldn't find any on, uh, on Bricklink. And that was a sticker sheet. Uh, and uh, that is this sticker sheet. Now, there are lots of ones on here that aren't that ace, to be honest, but the all important ones are up here with the anti-gravity signs and the gaming uh, bits. Now, these all came from the set 80021, Monkey Kid's Lion Guardian from 2021, which I guess is a rare set. Maybe not many people really 
wanted a massive monkey kid lion guardian <laughs> in their collection but uh, that's why the sticker sheet was very hard to find uh, but it's the two uh kind of arcade machines that i want from my arcade machine collection from my expanded arcade when i finally get to that uh and yeah one is one of these sort of dancing step machines that i've already done a version of but this one has got really nice imagery so you can always have two different types of one or maybe i'll just replace it and use these because we've got the four directions for stomping around and there's the big screen with the anti-gravity signs which i think are for the whole uh, arcade but i've probably just attached them to this game because it's in the same, uh, same color scheme and then maybe i'll use these three and i'm not sure if those two go to it as well but those three make up a sort of another one of those uh, grabber type machines which i've got one on my boardwalk but uh, i think i could have another in the arcade so i'll probably do that as well so now i've got the sheet i can get the uh, pieces together either from my collection or on my wanted list to get those machines done uh and then as for the rest of them i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to use these but i'm going to keep them obviously just in case something needs some workings that look a bit like that or like that or just decoration they are sort of uh well waterfall is that or clouds i don't know but anyway uh, I'm sure I'll be able to find a use for them in due course, but that was very good indeed. So those are the little purchases I made. Uh, and now I'm going to open the massive great big box from America. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pause here and get my knife going. Well, whoever you are, you package up things very well. Took me a while to get into that with my knife, but here we go. Here is the rest of the packaging and we have wow a huge mixed bag here oh golly this is all going to tumble out and make a racket we've got a ship hull we've got some oh really nice old dark gray uh pieces for the key side lots more bubble wrap oh a bag of oh black narrow gauge track loads of fence pieces Oh, looks like a set, a Marvel set. And then, yeah, just get rid of the box over my head. Whoa, massive thud. <laughs> right, okay, let's look at this in order. I'm gonna start with the set. I think this is a set, just check it's not packaged. Yeah, it seems to be sealed. Right, so this is the Black Widow uh, helicopter chase. I think this is one of Mrs. Hood's favorite movies, uh, but I doubt she'll want to uh, build it still because uh yeah she's not as into lego as me she, she definitely appreciates it but uh it took an absolute age to build that um uh queer eye set uh, but she did do it <laughs> it's now gathering dust i should probably try and cannibalize the pieces anyway um yeah this is a really nice set so it's uh set 76162 and we've got a nice motorbike there with i think that's the sister of black widow i have been made to sit through this no i couldn't honestly tell you maybe that's the mother i'm not sure uh taskmaster I'm not even sure this is the movie I'm thinking it is. But anyway, yeah, it looks really good. So that is a very nice uh, Chinook style helicopter. Uh, I like that a great deal. I've got the one that's a bit similar to it. That's uh, from the old uh, Deep Sea uh, Explorer sets. But I haven't got a Chinook for the city. So that'll be good. And in black, it looks rather swish, doesn't it? Do they retract their landing gear? If they do, it'll look even more sleek. I'm not sure they do, actually. I don't think they go fast enough for it really to matter. But yeah, I like that good stickers looks a bit sort of uh, special ops really doesn't it don't know what i'll do with these guys they look a bit superhero-y to me but uh yeah maybe mrs hood will want the black widow actually she does like uh, a few minifigures on her desk and so on so that is awesome yeah completely sealed uh oh it's got sellotape on that end i don't think it has been opened i don't know i'm going to open it sooner or later so i may as well have a peek inside da -da -da. Da -da -da. yeah it's all sealed yeah, looking good. Okay, so we've got a fantastic set there. I'm going to look forward to building that. Looks very nice indeed. But it's got some good play features where we've got the... Oh, we've got a little buggy on the inside. Ramp out the back. Yeah, all goes in there. We've got stud shooters and the cockpit, of course. Yeah, like it. Looks good. Really like the uh, stickers on the outside. Very nice indeed. So maybe I should make the central section white and it can be an SSP uh, Chinook helicopter for the super secret police. That'd be good fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, just a little bit of colour change. I could still leave these bits grey. That's all sort of workings, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, just make a sort of band in the middle. I'm not sure if I've got the pieces, but, you know, they're not too hard to come by, are they? Because those are the same roof pieces that come on the uh, white fast passenger train 60051. So I think I'll be all right there. Yeah, I like that. We've already got plans for that. So that is brilliant. That's good going. Right, so we've got some 
of these pieces. Now, I've never had these in this colour before. I've always got them in old light grey, and this is old dark grey. So it'll be good for variety in the city. Now, these seem to have gone through an absolute <laughs> life. We've got what looks like sort of pen and crayon on them and all the rest of it, where they've been really enjoyed by a previous user. Now, I don't know if that's going to be too much of a problem, really, because... First of all, you can give these a good old thorough wash, just like you do any old washing up. Uh, but also you can use things like lighter fluid to get rid of uh, staining or other solvents, and it'll all come up quite nicely. And then, given I've already got some plastic polish, I'll even be able to take out the finer scratches. Plastic polish is quite expensive, but if you've already owned some, then it's not. <laughs> I had some from a previous... Uh, purpose. It's really good for getting these scratches out of glass pieces as well. So that's good. I just have to think how I'm going to use these in my city, but it's a really nice different contrast uh, to all the other stuff. So yeah, really happy with that. You've, you've, you've done it really well so far. I'm just thinking actually, I haven't seen a letter. Oh, hold on. Oh, let's see if there is a letter. There must be. Just ploughed on with this and I haven't even taken care to see if there's a letter. We've also got this gold kind of uh, post for firemen to descend down or something. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, looking for the packaging. Ugh. I threw behind me. No, there is no letter. You really should send a letter, even just to say hi. But no, I cannot see one anywhere. But I did note that on the box, it was from somebody called Trent. So hello, Trent. Uh, and Trent is from a place called uh, Marysville, though you probably call it Marysville, uh, in Washington State. So that is near Seattle, uh, you know, just north of Lake Stevens, if you know the area. Uh, I checked it out on uh, Google Maps. I always like to do that, see where people live. It looks like a very nice uh, part of the world. So I don't know how I'm going to use this gold uh, thing for people to spiral down like firemen. But uh, yeah, it's very nice. I think I've got one of these in yellow. But yeah, it makes me want to build a big fire station. So we're doing really well already. So this is the hole that he says, looking over his shoulder. Yeah, that is uh, from the Explorer 6 uh, Deep, sea dive, uh, Deep Sea Explorer sets, but without the stickers. So maybe I can make another boat for that in my city. I've got so many boats, though. It's going to be super congested, my city, already around that area. So yeah, that's not a priority. That is very cool. But uh, yeah, thanks for that. Then, oh, you, you give me loads of narrow gauge track. This is because I mentioned my mine, I imagine. So this is all in black. And is this the colour that makes up the uh, alien mothership? Or is that dark bluish grey? I can't remember, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got just over a circle because we need eight for a full circle. So I could make another massive uh, alien mothership sized ship. Oh, he says, trying to fit these golly things together. They're very stiff. Uh, or I could use them as a very, very bendy, <laughs> since we haven't got any straights, uh, kind of path underneath my uh, city in the mines, in the deep sea level. Uh, not deep sea level, deep underground level. Get it right. So uh, yeah, that might be really useful, actually. The black will stand out against the uh, gray rock as well. So that's actually quite good. So that's nice to have. Could do with a couple of straights, but I'm not sure they even made it. I bet Trix Bricks did though, so we'll try and see if they've got any of that. An absolute raft of uh, fencing in white. An explosive sign, that can also be for my mine. A bus stop sign, that's cool. Need that. Big ugly rock piece, or rock panel I suppose, the small one. Loads more of this fencing. Wow, you really didn't want to keep any of that, did you? A couple of things for the undersea. And these uh, lovely, uh, what would you call them? I was going to call them tentacles, but they're not tentacles, are they? Sort of plant uh, vine pieces. That's probably the word I was looking for. A police barrier as well. And more white fencing of all different types. So, yeah. Wow. You obviously think that uh, Brick Nottingham doesn't have enough fencing in it. <laughs> one uh, tile as well. Oh, a few more tiles, actually. But uh, yeah, is this the sort of suggestion that I need to get uh, the uh, health and safety police involved a bit more? I don't know, but uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. Maybe I can use it to sort of line some of my uh, railway scenes because I will have a lot more railway now uh, and I don't have a huge amount of fencing to keep poor innocent minifigures safe. Hey, I've never seen that before. Is that, I don't think that's actually Lego, is it?
two wide piece of sort of a three bar fence because that's Lego. Yeah, it's slightly different, isn't it? Don't think that's actually Lego. That might make its way to the bin just because I'm a bit of a purist. But anyway, thanks very much for that. We've got another inflatable in orange. And this, oh, this mixed bag is got loads of stuff in it, golly. We have got a medium ugly rock piece, Merp. I think that's that one. Always get them confused. Panel. Panel with windows for castles in light bluish grey. Nice bit of pan, uh, corrugated one for some containers. Black tower. One door. Hopefully we've got another one of those. Doesn't seem like it. A lion embossed sort of bit for an old building. That can go in the old town. Yeah, I really like that. Thanks, Trent. Panel with police dogs on it. Ooh, loads of, loads of printed lovely goodness. Oh, let's see if we can get in here. We have got, what is that? I'm gonna guess that's Chima, or do you think it's Nexo Knights? Yeah, so they've got the, I think it's Nexo. Do you think with the lion? I don't know what it is, but it's some sort of hologram projection or something like that sign. But anyway, yeah, I have to look at that in the catalog. Oh, we got two of them. Oh, and they're symmetrical. Yeah, so I'm not sure I'll use that in my castle scene. I don't know where that'll work. So yeah, tell me where they're from and uh, also tell me where you think I should use them. They're very nice, but I just don't know. Maybe in the Ninjago city or something like that. They look rather futuristic to me. Oh, wow. How many of these have you got? One, two, three, four, five pizza kind of menus for the pizza restaurant, presumably. Oh, that'd be really good. I can have them on all the tables just for all the offers. Or maybe they're big sort of posters around the city advertising one of my pizza chains. I think that's probably better because it's not great as a menu with only two things on it. But yeah, they're great. I think they came with the series minifigure. Uh, either, was it the pizza costume guy or was it the delivery guy? I think it was the pizza costume guy. But yeah, they're really nice. Very cool indeed. So yeah, thank you very much for them. Make Lego models, not war. I think that was on the... Uh, VW uh, set. I've got that in the surf shop, I think. Not surf shop, uh, skate shop. But uh, yeah, we can stick one of those as a poster somewhere else as well. That's very nice. Gold mine, that'll be coming on the channel soon. So it'd be good to have another sign for that. Every flat surface telling us exactly what it is. It's funny how Lego does that, isn't it? You you have a gold mine, it writes gold mine on every wall, which you'd never have uh, in real life. But anyway, uh, task force, I quite like that sticker. And, ah oh yes, I've used that all around my mobile phone store uh, for the tele uh, bit. Uh, but yeah, that's really nice advertising. Could be uh, by the side of a racetrack or something like that coming soon. We've got an absolute bag of starfish or maybe flower tops. I've used these as daffodils uh, with the sort of bottom side facing up. I think that looks really great for daffodils and loads of them together. looks absolutely fantastic. So this is the uh, Flemish Yellow Orange but with the yellow version as well, they look really good sort of mixed daffodil colors. So I like that. That is a very good choice as well, Trent. Wow, an absolute bag of these. Are these for cobblestones? Maybe for my old town? Yeah, I had a bag like this and I used them all on my, um, uh, what did I use them on? My pizza restaurant. So yeah, it'd be good to do another area similarly. I think it looks really good as cobbles. A bit regular, but I suppose you can always make the odd one you know, uh, one of those sort of rounded ones with a flat, flat side on one side and quarter tiles and things like that. So yeah, there's a few other rogue pieces in there, but that is definitely very usable. So thank you for that. Hey, <laughs> obviously a fan of the brick halls because you found one of my favorite pieces. This for the underside of train builds. I just love it. Uh, but yeah, it could be the underside of all sorts of things, a balloon or I don't know, all sorts of stuff, but I like that. So thanks for that. We've got some interesting sort of ghosty eyes and teeth and so on. Some lovely, ah, oh, I just bought some of these. <laughs> Bad timing, but uh, some lovely ornate fence pieces in black. Got six of those. That'll be really useful. I think I just bought two for my uh, collaboration build that'll be coming up soon. Uh, I keep saying that, but basically I'm, I'm waiting on Lego. It's Lego's bricks and pieces fault for that one. Uh, when those pieces arrive, I'm ready to roll. So that's good. Oh, I missed one. We've got a rainbow. That's from the Rainbow Bear set, I think. Uh, there we go. Very nice. We've got, oh my word. Wow. You are a generous so-and-so. Wow, look at that. We've got 
A horse parting piece. And I don't think I've even got this one, he says. Let me just check. Oh, check my cabinet. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. No, I don't have this one. Wow. So this is a Crown Knight one, which should fit with my uh, real life city. So I could put it there or I could put it in the uh, uh, joust scene when I get to that. I think I've got one that's similar to this. It's sort of gold for the Crown Knights, but there's two ones. And this is the one I don't have. I'm fairly certain in saying, but it's definitely going to be new to my castle scene either way. That is absolutely great. And what a great condition. Got both clips intact. Oh, that's got a tiny stress mark on that one, but I bet it still works. It looks fine. <laughs> These clips you have to be careful with because they've often broken off. But yeah, that looks great. The print's really good condition, actually. Tiniest bit of wear on that corner, but I mean, nothing to even mention, really. That looks great. Oh, wow, Trent, you've been very generous sending that. I'm certain I haven't got it in this dark blue. It's really nice. Oh, so that's very appropriate, isn't it? We've actually got two of these now today. Nice red one and a nice blue one. Wow, fantastic. So kind of you. Right, we've got two more bags. Oh, I've choked up. That that deserves a bedoying. Where's my bedoying buzzer? Ooh. I mean, you deserve one already just for sending a lovely package. So that's that bedoying. And for this, oh, so nice. Have a second bedoying as well. I'm giving them away today, <laughs> but not cheaply. They are very well deserved. So, wow, this is interesting. I've never owned any of this before, but we have a bag of pneumatic pieces. So that's interesting. I don't even know how this works. Oh, yeah, there we go. So there's the sort of bit that pushes out. We've got some tubing. I think I've received some tubing before from uh, previous people, but yeah, I think we put that linking pieces together. And then by me sort of pushing that, it'll sort of make something else push out or something like that. I'll have to try and work it all out, maybe using some of the original instructions. But that means I can, yeah, mechanically move something and something else further away will do something more interesting. So, yeah, that's quite good. I feel like they might need a bit of oil, but I've got some good uh, can of uh, lubrication, so that will be all right. So we've got, we've got what, I think we've got one narrow one, two wide ones. I don't know what that difference is. That one moves very easily, that one less so. So maybe it's a about the amount of force they create. That's going to be really interesting exploring those. Uh, oh, and a tiny one here, look. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, that's cool. Very nice. Yeah, so ideas for all of these. And then for shock absorbers, oh, which are very stiff indeed, actually. Must be the super, oh, strong ones. They must be from some heavy vehicle or something like that. So I don't know if they tie in with them or maybe they just help return things back to their original position. I've got no idea. But yeah, very good. So a couple of, I'm not sure if these are the pneumatic pipes, because although they've got a hole in them, they are the sort of more rigid type. I think the pneumatic pipes are much more bendy and uh, much more easy to slip over these. But even so, these would be great as sort of uh, banisters or whatever uh, when straightened out, even if they are not the right ones for those. So that is amazing. We've got some Technic pieces with an absolute load of long white axles, which I don't think I've ever seen before in that color. They'll be useful, I'm sure, to work out how to use those. And a couple more gears. I actually got a couple of these on my wanted list at the moment, uh, so that's good. And then lots of different connectors and stuff like that that I'll be able to use on all of my projects. Yeah, these things are all useful, little beveled gears and so on. Great. And then I think the final, oh no, there's the other dog sign. <laughs> and then the final bag. Wow, we've done so well already. We've got kind of mini builds in. We've got what looks like a micro train wagon type thing, probably from a Christmas train, methinks. Yeah, bit interesting. I might use the parts for that if you don't mind. <laughs> then we've got another wagon there with what looks like detailing that's sort of fallen off it. I'll have to work out how that went. But um, yeah, again, I'll probably use the pieces. I think these dark green ones will go under the sea very well. And then we've got some pieces which look like they must be a challenge for me to try and use. Now, I think these are from uh, an Indiana Jones set. I definitely remember they're from a very sort of long crashed plane. And I think the stickers have been put on the wrong way around because that's right. It says Panagra Airways. Uh, and on this side, it says Airways Panagra. But that's all right because I can move those stickers using my patented hot tea technique. Yep. <laughs> uh, and 
yes, whether I use those as an airline or not, they're kind of, oh, the stickers are the windows as well. If I just use the pieces, I don't know. Oh, but then it could be wreckage under the sea, couldn't it? Yeah, so I quite like that. And there's the roofing. Yeah, okay, interesting. I'm going to wash those and give that a play around because I might move all the stickers and try and get them a bit closer uh, together uh, right near the edge of the pieces as well so they look really good and joined up and maybe the white with the top and so on. But yeah, that's really nice. Interesting indeed. So, wow, we have done so well today. It's a bit of a mess, <laughs> the scene we've got in front of us, but there's some really good stuff in here. Uh, so first of all, we had the smaller package from Adam with the wonderful uh, piece that's on my important list. So that is very uh, useful. And some wonderful pictures. That is going on the fridge, the GBC one. That is awesome with good old me holding a ginormous ball. Then we had some stuff that I got, including a roof piece, which was a lingering part from a train build that I just couldn't find anywhere else. Uh, a barding piece and some ramps and so on. And then, wow, Trent, if only we had a letter. Uh, do get in touch if, <laughs> quickly if uh, I've missed it somewhere. I can't see where it would be. Uh, but um, thanks anyway for your very, very generous and thoughtful uh, contribution here. We've got a lovely set that I'm looking forward to incorporating. Some good bulk here for the old town. I mean, that'll save me a fortune. Uh, some interesting parts here and with the narrow gauge train and the pneumatic stuff. I mean, wow, what a what a selection you've done here, as well as these old grey uh, keyside pieces, which you could actually use as a station platform or something as well. That's probably a bit wide for that. And another barding piece. For the collection. How did you know? <laughs> I guess you've been watching my brick horse. That's out. But anyway, that is so good. Oh, and the sticker sheet I bought as well. So I'm super happy. I've got loads to do now. Loads of things to clean, put together, uh, take apart, <laughs> realign, change stickers and all the rest of it. But uh, that's kind of what I enjoy about this hobby. Getting everything absolutely perfect in project bags, ready to roll and then incorporating it all in a wonderful city, just like Adams. Wow. Lovely. Cool. What a haul. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome brick hauls. Do also subscribe to the main Robin Hood Bricks channel if you want to see all of these pieces being used in the city or other areas that I build. Uh, and if you want to send something to a future brick haul, you can do that by sending something to the usual PO box address. Uh, just like Adam and Trent did. Uh, thanks, guys, again. Uh, and it's just so great receiving all of these pieces because they inspire so much creativity in me, be it sort of uh, new pieces I haven't seen before or pieces for new areas or loads of fences. Just saves me a lot of money uh, for fencing off, say, the railway areas. And I really love getting photographs as well, especially if they are uh, featuring anything that I've done on my channel, uh, one of my builds or me doing something hilarious or even ideas for funny little scenes like the steamroller running over that bicycle. That is brilliant. I might have to steal that. So yeah, long may that continue. Uh, so next time on this channel, we'll be doing another Brick Hall next Wednesday. Uh, and on the main channel, I've got no idea what I'm going to be doing. I'm a bit disorganized uh, after my holiday. Check out the brown hands. Uh, and uh, well, whatever we get up to, I'm sure we'll have great fun. So until all of that, see you. Yeah, these are lovely. Nom 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 nom. <laughs>